So I want to do a video on storage and hard drives for action camera footage. So as you guys know, with action cameras and any kind of video, you need a place to store your footage. And I used to edit all my videos from the desktop computer, but it will get to a point where you just run out of storage space and you need some sort of hard drive, right? And a lot of these cameras that I have here, all these action cameras, I've got loads on my desk here, all shoot at incredibly high quality, which means sometimes an excessively big file size. And we need a computer or a hard drive to deal with that, um, that data. So you can use a conventional hard drive, just a USB hard drive, but what I like to use and what I've been experimenting with is an SSD hard drive. So this is a solid state drive. It doesn't have a disc inside like most do. And it's generally a lot faster to edit your videos from. Let's move my microphone a bit closer. There we go. And yeah, so I wanted to give you my recommendation and, and one, um, like a combination of a hard drive and a case that I've been using, which is really good. And it's really fast for editing from as well. So you get no lag when you're editing. So all the details in the, uh, in the description will be for the products and stuff on Amazon. And I'm just gonna show you what I use. So first of all, I use this enclosure, okay? So this is a Sabrent USB uh, free enclosure, right? And basically what this does is, I'll show you now, it, it encloses a hard drive or like a chip. It's really small, so this is great for traveling as well. It's super lightweight. I mean, look at the size of that. It's, it's like, that's how big it is. It's tiny. And how this works, it's got USB-C on the end, and we just open it with a little button on the side. So he says. And inside there, literally your, your chip or your like hard drive, which I've got here, which is a crucial hard drive, T500. It's a terabyte of space, this goes in here, which I'm gonna put in here now and show you. And it goes in one way. So be very careful when you put this in. You don't damage the um, the ports. And it kind of goes in an angle. And then you push it down gently, and then there's like a, um, a locking pin, which spins around. Just make sure I get this right. If I bought the right one. There we go, we're in. And then there's like a little locking pin that just swivels around, real simple. And that's us good to go. And we close this up, cool. Um, and that's the hard drive I used there. I have to show you both things on the screen now, so. These here. You can see that, there we go. And yeah. And this actually comes with a USB to USB-C port as well. So it goes straight to the side of my MacBook. Just literally just plug it in. And once you connect this to your computer, you'll then have a terabyte of space as a hard drive on here. And so I don't generally store all my footage on here. The SSD hard drive is a great hard drive for editing from. So if you've ever done any editing before, you'll know that if you edit from a disk drive, it's generally a lot slower. Disk drives generally are bigger in space and cheaper to buy, but they're crap for editing from. SSDs are a lot faster if you've got 1084K and above footage. And then once you've edited your video on this, I would then transfer it to another hard drive to, to store if you wanna keep your footage. So super short video. That is what I would recommend and what I've been testing recently for editing my action camera footage. I hope it was useful. If you've got any recommendations, please drop it in the comments below and all the links to these products will be below as well.